Mr. Ryan Sumpart of the Welcome our very distinguished Senator. We welcome the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Niger State, Kano State just coming in, Chairman of the Forum, Governor of Katsina State, Governor of Borno State, we welcome you, Governor of Yogi, we welcome you, Governor of Fara State, we welcome you. Stay just a minute and work on this. I've also told you that these seats are reserved for senators. So please let's back up them. And welcome, welcome the president of the Senate, the chairman of the National Assembly. And welcome, welcome the Speaker and the Representatives. Can we please have some quiet at this point, please? Can we have some quiet, please? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is a delegation of the Legislative Progressive Governors Forum Committee on Legislative Programs, heavily led by Right Honorable Aminu Bello Masai, Governor of Katsina State. The Progressive Governors Forum have two subcommittees, one on governance, one, of, one on legislative programs. And as part of the initiative of the Committee on Legislative Programs, the steering committee, uh, we are here to pay the courtesy call and to appreciate the leadership of the National Assembly under the under both the chairman and the deputy chairman, and to express without preemptive representation our pride in the way you have led the two chambers of the National Assembly and the peace and the legislative activity that is taking place there and giving confidence to our nation and supporting the great government that we led by President Muhammad. Buhari. The, the, the Progressive Governance Forum is desirous and is cognizant of the need to interact and to work together. And to do that, I'm shy of using the word introducing, but I will introduce nevertheless. Right Honorable Admin Ujanda Masaiki, who is very well known in uh, the International Assembly, to say the least, and who, is, who will convey the position and present 
what we are here to discuss. So, with that few remarks, and on behalf of, my, of, all, uh, of behalf of all my colleagues, I want to say a big thank you for granting us. Yes, so, yes, I know many people, many of you cultural We have a standing subcommittee on legislative matters that started in 13 with the last assembly. But unfortunately, nothing of substance came out for all those reasons. So we thought that we should contact you early enough so that we put the machinery in motion in making sure that this time around we are on the same page the progressive governors form and the National Assembly. We believe doing so will give us opportunity to address fundamental issues that not only affect APC as a political party but the whole nation. We need to itemize some elements which we are introducing for the purpose of this courtesy call. The details will come when we are subcommittee and our subcommittee meet and discuss in detail. On behalf of my colleagues, progressive governors, it is my pleasure to thank the leadership of the National Assembly especially the Senate President, Senator Ahmed Ibrahim Law, and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Fabi Baji Amina, for graciously honoring our request for this important courtesy call. We want to remember that President Muhammad Buhari constantly reminded us about our responsibilities in providing leadership to ensure that all of us as elected representatives, which is a collective body that should prioritize building strong relationship between all elected representatives, both in the executive and legislative arms of government, as well as our party leaders. The absence of good relations has produced crisis of trust, which if care is not taken, to destroy not only our party but the political process. So, as leaders whose concerns, we need to make amends, especially in the area of management of political relations across all blocks of party stakeholders. We need not to remind ourselves of what happened between 2015 and 2019. We, unfortunately, uh, allowed a lot of circumstances to give new life to our political opponents, especially parties in opposition to APC, like BDP. We have not managed our personal aspirations to contest elections through the inability of our party leadership to pensively ensure broad consultations leading to collective decisions that are the causes of most of these avoidable circumstances. We know what has happened, the build up to 2019, the crisis will happen in so many states, we are our own political party. I'm sure this paragraph in particular is referring to those crises that could have been avoided. Recognizing that conflicting demands from all stakeholders will not be easy to manage. Compliance with provisions of our party's constitution and all relevant laws of Nigeria will help. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, Your Excellency, the Speaker. The President of the Senate will also make very brief remarks and 
after which we then ask the press to please excuse them for a closed down session. We'll be making remarks, but the, my remarks will be probably very short because I'm, I'll be preempting what the presentation will be all about. But of course, my remark will touch upon the, the fact that we're all very appreciative, myself and the Senate President and the leadership of the House, of the role that the, the, the governors have played in our emergence as both Senate President and Speaker of the Ninth Assembly. Your, your roles in no way, uh, no little way played a major part in the success we recorded um, at the elections. And so we're, we're, we're very grateful to you for this. Uh, I'm not sure what the legislative agenda that the Progressive Forum is bringing, but let me use this opportunity to say that we have our legislative agenda that will be unveiling on Friday. Um, which we intend to get across to you formally, but I'm using this occasion to also invite the governors to uh, witness the legislative agenda of the House of Representatives, which will be unveiled on, uh, in uh, Musa Yaradua Center at 10 o'clock Friday. Now, whether or not we may need to tweak it or amend it later on based on the presentation that, that, that is being going to be made today, we'll be more than happy to do so because we're going to be working in unison, we're going to be working together as one party and as one government. And whilst addressing that issue of one party, one government, um, I, I will just touch on one thing that did bother, I guess myself and the Senate President, was the issue of uh, uh, the crisis in the Bauchi State and, uh, and the Edo State. And whilst we were able to successfully resolve the issue in, um, in Bauchi State, which is an opposition states, so to speak. Unfortunately, we were not able to resolve that of Edo State. And um, I think it's one of the things we should uh, look at and uh, prioritize in figuring out how to constitutionally address that issue. For those of us on this side, uh, the National Assembly, um, I a little bit perturbed and surprised that um, we would, a judgment will be given against the explicit constitutional roles of the National Assembly as prescribed in section 12 of the Constitution, which is written in very unambiguous language. Um, we, we're, we're a bit concerned that, uh, uh, of course, there are three arms of government and we will, to serve notice, be going to court on this matter to resolve it, not just for this moment, but for the future, so that issues like that do not, um, do not come up again. Uh, in, the, in the House of Representatives, uh, we have adopted a theme, a theme, uh, a nation building, a joint task, and that's what we call it. And that's how we operate in the National Assembly, irrespective of uh, party. The, we have not blurred party lines, but we have chosen to, to, to come together when it comes to national issues, in spite of whatever political ideologies or differences that we may exhibit. And uh, we believe that as one party, uh, uh, there's so much expected of us in. Uh, in, um, uh, in this in this government, we are going to need one another. It's going to have to be a symbiotic relationship between the governors and the legislators, and that's what we look forward to. We will probably have a more robust conversation after the press has gone out, and uh, we'll have the presentation of the of the governors forum. Thank you very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, this is meant to be a very brief uh, remark, and I will make it so. Uh, let me join my brother, the Right Honorable Speaker, to welcome our esteemed uh, guests, our governors, the progressive governors. This is a special moment for us. This will be the first uh, meeting between the leadership of the National Assembly of APC Stock and our governors, the progressive governors. So this is a family uh, affair. And uh, indeed, on behalf of all my colleagues, uh, the principal officers here, I welcome you to the National Assembly. It is a fact and a truism that uh, our party, particularly our governors, did so well, worked so hard, assiduously to ensure that the leadership of the National Assembly emerged with a little or no hitch 
in the 2019 uh, leadership uh, contest. We want to take this opportunity to thank you for that show of uh, trust. We believe that uh, you have done your part by giving us the, all the support that we needed. The ball is now in our court uh, to keep this leadership in trust. And we intend to remain very resolute. We intend to remain very loyal uh, to the party and the principles the party stands for. We intend to remain committed and dedicated to Nigerian ideals of making sure that Nigeria provides all the necessary uh, uh, services to citizens, and especially when it comes to the area of ensuring uh, the security, safety, and welfare of, uh, of citizens. When we emerged, uh, without any doubt, we had a very bipartisan uh, combination uh, in the way and manner our elections uh, took place. Uh, the APC provided the, the platform. Almost all the APC in the Senate and the House, in fact, uh, voted along the line of ensuring that uh, this time around, the party produced the leadership without any uh, adaptation, so to speak. But uh, also the, the opposition parties, uh, in the Senate particularly, the PDP and the YDP, have done so much to ensure that they give that kind of support. And I want to take this opportunity to be extremely practical, that so far in the National Assembly, the journey has been very, very good. We have been working in a very bipartisan manner, and all those things that we felt were very uh, necessary to be achieved, the national interest, we have done so across party lines. I believe that this uh, kind of part uh, partnership will continue. Uh, finally, on this segment, uh, it is necessary that the two levels, in fact, all the levels of government work together. We have certain issues that we cannot do alone at the national level. When we have to take out uh, 11, 12, or 13, or even 14 million children out of school, off the streets, the federal government cannot do that alone. Uh, this is something that I think the, the two levels of government, particularly the states and the federal government, will have to work together. And the states, I want to uh, assure our governors here, you have partners uh, in the National Assembly. We believe that we can do far better, we can do more when we work together and we are here representing the states. Actually, all of us belong to states. Uh, we, we don't belong to just them by chance. It's because we belong to states, we belong to federal government. And I believe that uh, there is need for us to continue to have this kind of interaction, probably even more often, so that we are to come and continue to define and, and redefine the dynamics of how good governance can be engendered and sustained. Thank you very much. You are welcome. We'll have the chairman of the forum sign our visitors register and aids to all our principles to please excuse them as they go into a closed door session. All aids. Very good. By the chairman of the forum, the Kebby State Government. All aides can start moving out.